Good morning, Gary. Hey, Daria, what, what's the weather? What's the traffic? My um, gosh. Uh, well, hey, just watch for five minutes and you'll know we're going to get more rain. I, exactly. Well, but no, the reason I'm saying usually I'm uh, led into by a little weather and traffic. Well, you know what? Uh, actually, you think about how important you are. We had weather, we had traffic, we had the president and the new defense secretary, and we still have got Gary. That's I love Bob. Like that? That's the best producer. That Zito. That's I love right. This guy. Nobody's bumping you. So listen, uh, the Warriors. I mean, come on. Who is anybody beating them? No, eleven straight now. Yeah, and and listen, you, you know, you always keep going. Well, wait a minute. Are they that good? Are they that good? And you're looking ahead. They're playing in Chicago on uh, well tomorrow, tomorrow night, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, maybe we'll find out. You know, my gosh, is this just their early season? They're playing the right teams or what? But uh, they've got a, a couple of games on the road that'll test them. But last night against New Orleans. They were great. So fa And they're great, like you always say, and they show it night after night. They're great. I call them kids. They're great yeah. kids. They're great. Right? I mean, you look what they did for that Australian Make-A-Wish guy and what they did for the, you know, the, the, the local kid who was killed and they went to the basketball game of the Richmond team. And it just, They're great guys. Yeah, and, and I always look for this because if you're going to watch, you know, and put your, your time into watching the team for five months, they play with a joy, yeah. and, and that is, yeah. I, and believe me, with all the things that there are to watch now and all the different sports, if you can play and you're good and yeah. you have a joy, yeah. that's something. And that, it's, it's funny, we were talking about this on the radio, is that the 49ers, listen, people still love the team, and right. you know, things are going to eventually smooth out, but they don't have a joy about them where the Warriors do. Yeah, it's different yeah. in like, I'm a pro, this is my job, versus I love this game, and you feel it. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen, no matter right, wrong, some guy maybe was, you know, was, I don't want to say framed, but he was getting a lot like that McDonald's. You know, who knows what actually happened that night. Yeah. But the point is, yeah. it's still the cloud hanging over the team. Yeah. Where these guys are, wow, the Warriors are just, they're fresh and exciting. And speaking of the Niners and uh, Levi's, is probably the only championship game we're going to see at Levi's Stadium is tonight, and it's college. You got Oregon and Arizona. Yeah, listen, to, I mean, you, if you tell me, isn't part of the college experience having the, the crowd going wild? And, you know, in other words, why shouldn't the game be in Arizona or be in Oregon? I but, understand well, why they do this, but yeah, well, that stadium's going to be half filled. But, and, uh, no, like Oregon is 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 it's UC Eugene. It's the old mom bumper sticker. Come on, it's like practically local. No, no, I, I know there'll be a lot of people there, but what? Do you have a crowd count or anything? Uh, oh no, I, I know that this is the only championship game that's going to be featuring uh, two top ten teams. The, everyone's going to be watching number two and number seven. Yeah, but Dari, it's it's a seventy thousand seat stadium. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, they sure. always say, well, they travel well, like you brought up Oregon. Right. So, okay, let's say they bring, gosh, I'll really, 20,000. That sounds like a lot to me. But say yeah. they bring 20. Yeah. And Arizona would bring, which I know they're not, but they bring right. 20. Then, I don't know. It's just, it, to me, these conference deals on neutral sites, I, I just always think that's a stretch. You're, you're hoping, uh, I mean, in other words, I think you lose some of the excitement you get when you're playing on, on a team's home field. But here's another angle, and that is it's your chance to get into Levi Stadium for less than a million dollars. I mean, as a fan, if you want to check, because the prices for the Niners game are crazy. Yeah, there you go. Do you, do you have any prices in front of you? So, like, no, for this, like how you could get in for this? Yeah. No, I can't. Zeno may be able to check that for me while we're talking. Okay. But no, and when you bring up the 49ers, so we're waiting, they won't be playing, you know, they'll be playing in Oakland, but you got the Niners and the Raiders, and now the Niners are being pushed even farther away from the wild card spot because of uh, Romo and his broken rib and the Cowboys beating the Bears. This Romo is ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... I mean, he's like a warrior wounded. Remember, he was, he had the punctured lung and he played in 2011. He had, now he's out there with broken ribs. Oh, I don't know when I broke him. I'm just playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him credit, you know. If people always want to, you're either the king or you're the goat when you're when you play quarterback but uh, that guy you know if he can walk he plays yeah oh uh, 25 to 30 bucks by the way in case you want a last minute ticket to that game yeah see that's a heck of a Who lot could? cheaper than a yeah. 49er game no kidding so I'm just saying they were practically they were charging more than that for tours remember the empty stadium so it's good. a chance right. to go right, you're right. You're um, right. and speaking of Warriors you've got to see this I now I imagine this is like every football speech in the movies I see but it's even beyond that this is like the war you're going to battle this but it wasn't it was just black friday at target uh, are you serious yeah take a look uh. they come here with bargains in their heads and fire in their eyes
place, and we shall give those bargains to them. We will show them that we are not just the best store in this neighborhood, but the best store anywhere, because we are more than just a store. This is a team. This is a family. This is Target! <laughs> do, you, do you love that? That's very funny. Where is that? Dead serious, this guy. This is a Target employee named Scott Sims. He's from Westminster, Maryland. This is the Target store he works in. And he's like, you know, I was watching like Braveheart and 300, and I wanted to be fired up, and I'm enthusiastic. And he pulled it. I mean, would you have done that? You got up there and say, this is crime. I tell you, I tell you what, if this guy is for real, I, I, that's a good employee. I want people that are fun and enthusiastic. <laughs> My God. And you know, if you and see, you don't know because you don't go out for Black Friday. Let me tell you, it is a battle out there. It's but a why war. Why do you go? It's like a war zone. Why don't you wait a day or two? Uh, well, because you, again, they get me on the doorbusters. They okay, get me on the deal. Right. You know, it's the one time only kind of deal. Yeah. You know what's funny though? What's that guy's name, Scott? Yeah. yeah. The more I think about it, he what? probably puts on that show for the camera, and then he's probably uh, 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 in the break uh, room. Yeah, behind the scenes <laughs> complaining about everything. He's in the break room with his feet up. No. Yeah, but he was good on camera. That's right. All right, go, go, 49ers, go, Raiders, go, whoever you want tonight. All right, young lady. All right, we'll see you later.